Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for the weekly recap. If you find this video useful make sure you give me a thumbs up to encourage me to make more videos like this. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature along with toolbox safety topic videos and leadership training videos. Well let's jump right in. I did not have the opportunity to visit any sites this past week. I have taught the OSHA 10 hour course twice this week. Now giving the 10 hour course got me thinking about the importance of OSHA. You may ask yourself, why is OSHA training important? The state of safety regulations and requirements in the workplace has only come to truly benefit workers in recent years. The history of construction work is rife with stories of accidents, injuries, and deaths. It wasn't until 1970 that OSHA was established and finally safety regulations started being mandated and enforced in the interest of employees. Prior to 1970, there were 14,000 deaths per year in the construction industry. Uh, in industry as a whole, 14,000 deaths. And at that time, the population was probably, I'm not sure, maybe a couple hundred million people. Now, today, with over 350 million people in the country, that rate has dropped to 1,400 or 1,500 people a year dying in industry and in, in, at, at the workplace. So has it made an impact? Yes, it has. So OSHA has dedicated itself to keeping workplaces across the country safe and secure through inspections, training, and education for employers and employees. OSHA continues to spread the word of the importance of safety training and maintaining a safe work environment to businesses across the United States. Now being employed in an environment with occupational hazards requires a working knowledge of safety rules and regulations set forward by OSHA. For business owners in industries where employees are at a higher risk of illness or injury due to the nature of the work, it is essential to emphasize the importance of safety training to employees so that they know what safety measures are in place to protect them from harm and what the company expects from them in order to avoid costly accidents. As we continue, OSHA port, uh, training is important. Learning the ins and outs of OSHA safety standards will keep you and your team members safe from potential accidents. It helps you and your team members recognize and mitigate hazards on your job sites and improve the overall level of safety for your organization. OSHA safety training and safety training in general should be given regularly to new employees, employees who are changing positions, and to all employees in general. Some of the benefits of OSHA training are by starting out a new employee, a new employee's time at a company with proper OSHA training and continuing safety training throughout the career, a company is able to demonstrate to its employees that it has a strong interest in their safety and well-being. This allows a company to earn the trust of its workers and it helps to boost morale. Better morale leads to higher productivity, lowers the number of absences from work, and also reduces the number of incidents, near misses, and accidents. Ongoing OSHA training for employees also gives safety officers and team members the opportunity to identify and discuss hazards in the workplace. 
By doing so, the administration can identify problem areas in the safety program and the safety culture of the company and avoid any future incidents. By starting these discussions through training, staff can strategically improve the work environment for employees. The business can possibly reduce worker comp claims, potential higher insurance costs, and litigation fees while encouraging safety through training. Now, while OSHA safety training classes are an investment, the amount of money they can save a company makes them invaluable. It also, mean, it also means avoiding the loss of manpower and a reduction in productivity due to workers being out for injuries or illnesses. By facilitating regular OSHA safety training courses, your staff can revisit the state of safety in your business regularly and keep things in check. Now, safety training, sometimes it's, it's a considerable investment. I've done two 10-hour OSHAs this past week. Now, the 10-hour OSHA is designed for entry-level workers or workers who haven't been exposed uh, to OSHA. Uh, or they've heard of OSHA and not sure what it is. And then there's the 30-hour OSHA, which would be for superintendents, project managers, and things, uh, people in, the, in, in those types of positions. The 10-hour is, is just a brief summary. It goes over introduction to OSHA, and then it can hit the high points, the focus four and things like that, that we need to look at to, to let uh, employees know what the most hazardous situations are on any given job site. And then as they progress through their career, they would take the 30, which would be a little more in depth than some of the subparts of the OSHA 1926 standard. Well, that's it. If you haven't had OSHA, talk to your supervisor about getting some OSHA training. Start out with the 10 if you haven't gotten it. If you've had the 10, get the 30. Uh, refreshers don't hurt either. Uh, feel free to contact me if you if you need some OSHA training. We'll we'll find some way somehow to get that done for you. And until we see each other again, guys, take care of yourself. Remember, you're number one. Look out for your coworkers. Ensure their safety. And remember, I will see you in the field. Mm -hmm.